Hi everyone, this is Kids My Quest YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Team Maker AFL Goal of the Year Awards. Now, how I rank these um, is pretty much spot on. So, I had great, good, okay, average and terrible um so i'll go through it i'll discuss it and yeah we'll talk about then as well but if you are returning to my price like comment share and subscribe if you're new to the channel and watching this for the first time like comment share and subscribe i will try and do this recordings on the night that I have done it um, when I can if not I can always take a photo of it and show you guys and let you guys have your say as well on top of that now I'm going to go with Josh say because now I put this number one in great. It's a great goal. It's a typical um, day cost goal, realistically. It reminds me of his old man's goal of the year that he kicked um, in a qualifying final on the boundary line. Like it's what day cost love as well, and I really do like this goal. As on top of that. Um. Second one, we got the The goal of the year, Eddie Betts. Now, this game was against the Gold Coast Suns. Um, really special goal, this one. Um, a left foot banana, if you don't mind, or a left foot torpedo. Kicked an absolute ripper, and that is one of the great goals I've seen. I'll put a second behind... Josh Dacos, um, only because like it's it's Eddie Betts, like he can do anything. Um, this man, and he's an absolute legend of the Adelaide and Carlton Football Clubs. You have to admire that. that that's that, that's just a ripper. That that is a well deserved goal. Um, Leon Davis got for the third one. Oh, I love Leon's goal. I love it. Um, the reason why I got that as a third, Leon Davis has been kicking goal the years from the band line. Like he, him and Dardak, and I know this is a Collingwood thing as well. Is it bias? I don't think it is. I don't think this is his bias at all, but I do think it's a way that how uh, Leon Davis kicked that goal. I think it was in 2007 as well. Like it, it was a really good goal. And then we got Eddie Betts again. I think this one was against the Giants. Potentially, I mean, a couple goals that you see, did kick were against the Giants where, you know, he fooled them all, picked up oops, around the body, got it. That was another great goal. Um, I got that behind me on Davis as well. And, and they're Indigenous players, and I do love the Indigenous players as well. I think that they're so special on, on how they bring to the club as well. Um, on top of that. And I got... 
Buddy Franklin from 2010 on top of this. Now, one of the buddies goes that he's kicked like he, he he kicked he had a couple bounces and he drilled a left foot drop punt against Essendon inside the field of play and somehow slotted it beautifully through as well. Um, that one was a, a real a really really great go and poor Cole Hook on that night. <laughs> you cannot believe that, that happened to him. But I do think that that was another great goal on top of that. And Eddie Betts is again. Now he he's won so many goal of the years as well. Um, and I'll put this as the last one. I think it might have been the banana or something. Uh, as as well, but he does kick some really great goals from the Eddie Betts pockets at the Adelaide Oval. They. You know, he somehow manages to keep it in and, and really fool them all. And I think, why not? When you're that good, um, you can do it. Now, now I do have um, this goal of the year as well under good Buddy Franklin in 2013 where he just ripped through it was a long it was against us so the ball got kicked in the centre got out the back Buddy Franklin picked grabbed it inside the centre square nailed a drop punt and it went through that was a cracking goal as much as possible um, as well on top of that And in the third one, I've got the Eddie Betts smaller and goal of the year in 2006 it was. And it was, it's a really good goal. I um, wasn't sure if I should put it grainy or not. Um, it is Eddie Betts, so, you know, I do love the blog, the way he goes about it. Um, but, you know what, he's had a really good career and well done to him as well. I got Serioli as the fourth one. Mainly because one in 2008, that goal that he. Or, or something like that. It was one of the goals of the years that he did kick. He was just a, a very good player, Serioli. And he didn't need much space. But if you gave him so much space, he converts it. So I do like that as well. I think it might have been Andrew McLeod that I've got as the first one. I can't, you know, it'd be hard to see. As well, but I, I will, um, in, in the comments, um, in the description, I will put in which play it is, but I think I had it as, as the first good. It was a really nice goal as well. Um, it's really, really great to see and to, to have like plays having goal of the years as well from t the, the 2000 onwards. Um, it, it's, it's a really um, special as well. Now Hayden Ballantyne, it was an okay goal. I don't mind it. It was okay. It wasn't like these running goals. They're not too bad, but you want to have better efforts as well. And I think seeing what these guys are capable of as well, um, Hayden Ballantyne was is so underrated. It's not funny. Um, he can get the job done. Um, He's a tough player that you hate as an opposition fan, but if you had him on your team, you certainly do love the way that he goes about it. Um, a really good player for Fremantle, um, certainly was another one.
Mark Murphy skull. Um, it was an okay go, I suppose. It's not as bad as what it could be. Um, certainly do felt like it. it's not as bad, but it, it's an okay goal. Um, it's not something special. Might have been a drop hunt. Dead kick or bananas. Kicked a couple bananas, which is like classic Mark Murphy. As well, so I, I don't mind that as much as possible. And then 2014, we got the Matthew White go of the year. Um, it's not too bad. I feel like, yeah, you know, having a couple of bounces and putting on the burst, finishing off. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It's, a, it's an okay goal of the year, I feel. Um, realistically, it's not to the point where I'm all worrying about it. It's just a yeah, I probably don't rate it as that highly. It's an, it's an okay goal of the year. I think that's about it. And then Daniel Rioli, 2017 as well. So I don't think it's it's an okay goal. It is a Rioli. I do like him. I feel like that's the way we're going to have to go about that one. That's why I got it. And then in the average, I got Matthew Lloyd's goal um, as well. The back heel goal, if, if, if we remember that, it's it's not as bad. It, it's it, it is harder to do for the difficulty. I just, I bought down an average as well. Um, it's probably not too bad. And I got a original height in front of it. The goal, I can't remember what it was. I, I just write, I just write them as average. I, I don't have. Either way, like it doesn't probably impress me as much, but I will put the description in that one on on, on who it is and and what year as well. Um, but I hope you guys still like this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, go the mighty pies. Bye for now.